Oh, greetings everyone, Lily Farm Guy here with a new mod test for Friday, August the 5th. And this is Cowshed with Barn by Gracus uh, Philip. 16.86 megabytes to download, 23 slots on console. And, uh, well, it's a barn. <clears throat> First of all, let's see where you can find it under animals, cows, and there it is, cow shed with barn, $65,000. As I said, 23 slots on console. It kind of spins around on that axis there. So, um, yeah, place it anywhere you like. Now, this uh, barn has a neat feature and a couple of uh, features that are quickly becoming one of my pet peeves about animal barns and the like. <clears throat> However, let's go over it first. We have a barn section and uh, a cattle section, I guess you could say, or a storage, a garage, shed, whatever you may want to call it. Three doors, uh, you go up to it. It takes a minute for it to open. There it is, yeah. So if you're like, oh, is it open? Yeah, it just, it literally takes like, you can see the latch slowly like it's rusted and they're trying to open it. And then you get whacked in the face with the handle. Anyways, <clears throat> this is it. Uh, you can see where the slots are going with all this. Uh, I can't pick that. Oh, then we can pick that up. Or not. What? Whatever. That it's you know, fluff. Um, so here's the uh, feed area. Um, straw goes in. Well, we'll talk about that in a moment. Here is the. Um, uh, you kind of have to. There we go. It's a little touchy. The animal dialogue is right here. Uh, we have a close the gate, which closes that, and of course. That takes a minute to open up. Not as bad. There is an inner gate as well. So if you want to... There we go. Yeah. <clears throat> so if you want to have the doors open, but the gate closed, and to keep the cows in, I guess, you can do that. I have placed a manure mm, a silo here. Yes, it does produce manure. <clears throat> Let's look at the fill. Uh, the uh, uh, so straw it takes actually I've, I've uh, fifteen thousand liters of straw and twenty one thousand five hundred liters of TMR or food, grass or uh, hay or TMR. Now I've went ahead one sleep, and you can see the the foods went down by half, so you could probably squeeze two sleeps uh, out of it. But uh, that's as much as you could do there. The straw seems to hold out quite a bit. <clears throat> longer right so uh, no lights that I could find or light switch um, we have our milk output here and at the back round the back a little outside yard for them to munch on some grass and so forth uh, here's the slurry output we're gonna test that uh, some more. Oh, farming cement. There's that, the, the infamous farming cement again, in case we were running short. <clears throat> right, so, uh, on to the, uh, well, first we'll cover the neat fe feature of this barn, is it says you can change the roof. So if we can hop up here, we can see, or let's come down here. Uh, we have a, oh, let's get, there we go, a brown, a brown roof, and inside kind of a red colored it looks kind of like um i'm gonna say corrugated um uh, uh, like galvanized steel roof corrugated type roof so if we come over to here it says change roof with the pressing the o button so you do that and it goes ah and it kind of freaks you out a little bit it's like the roof is falling and it changes it to that which well just a different color it seems uh, let's pop up here. There we go. So now, <clears throat> ah, now the roof color matches the uh, color of the, wait a minute, the barn roof changed too, doesn't it?
No, just the cow roof. Right, okay, there we go. So that's... <laughs> so you can go from this look to the, to the look of the... Uh, the matchy match with the the uh, the the shed portion. I say that kind of looks better, actually, if you ask me. Now, <clears throat> uh, food area is here. As you can see, there is a roof covering it, and the area marker is well within that roof area. So, this uh, <clears throat> this Strootman uh, trailer is about the only one that I could get that was, well, not the only one, but the largest one that I could get in here. And I have it on the side tip so that uh, a, a, uh, a back tip trailer will not, will not work here. Uh, this is, well, it's already, f okay, well, it's empty, but it works in here like so. <clears throat> As for the straw, well, let's, um, I got some bales, so I, it does take straw bales. <clears throat> but we'll test the, uh, the hay and the grass bales as well in the feed area. So, let's grab a hay bale. And yes, no problem there, takes hay bales. I would bet on taking a grass bale, yes, like so. Uh, but when he grabbed the straw bale, <clears throat> it's like, oh, where does the straw bale go? And um, it goes in here. So let's open up this. And if you don't want to do bales, you can do loose straw. But then again, oh, then again, uh, it's quite an awkward spot to get a trailer in. As I said, this is the largest of the trailers that I have <clears throat> that's going to fit in there and dump. So that, I can't even get the tractor in there. <clears throat> but we'll dump it like so. In there like that. So, yes, my pet peeve is modders that make teeny tiny areas to put product in and roofs with uh, tiny yeah so me personally I would never use this barn because the feed area is just so awkward to get anything in there unless you're running a really really tiny uh, machinery tiny teeny tiny small farm machinery um, maybe that'll work for you but yeah so it's not that it doesn't work it does work as you've seen it works fine just it's for me it's extremely awkward right so where is the milk and the how did the milk... Uh, let's start that up. Let's get that open. There we go. Uh, the milk trigger. Milk trigger is right over here. Everything is very well marked. Close that gate so we can have access to the... So, uh, you know, I, I must say that everything's very well marked, which is, which is good. Start filling. All right. Very good. <clears throat> that filled uh, very easily there. Let's just hop into our other um, tanker here and test out the slurry. I imagine it would be similar to the milk, but that's why we test it, to make sure it works. So far everything works, like I said. It's just, I wish uh, I wish some of these fill points weren't quite so awkward. And here's another example of a very awkward, like, um, spot where you're going to have to back. Oh, oh, though. Okay, so uh, start filling. Okay, so even though it's kind of an awkward spot, the trigger came up right away. So it's not terrible. I didn't have to try to back up. A trailer into there um, so 
it would have been yeah just a little awkward um i guess she could drive through but then the the height and size restriction of the doorways here but um there it is it works and it wasn't too much trouble to get that to pop up so not terrible just um you know i don't I don't know why it has to be so difficult to uh, to try and find the right size of equipment to dump in the straw and the... I mean, I understand it's the style of the building and so forth, and maybe it's just perfect for somebody out there. I'm just saying you're narrowing your appeal of a, um, a mod um, being restricted. I mean... Um, it would have if you made no collision on the roof so that something would dump but there was no collision you could you could still use a small trailer to 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 uh, put in stuff or not but this way you have to use a small stuff and there's no way other way around it but uh, anyways uh, that is my take on it but uh, testing uh, testing it out everything works and uh, there you have it. As for uh, slurry and milk uh, capacities, um, well, you've seen what we got out of it. So 7,536, and it was uh, it wasn't nearly full. So I'm pretty sure most of you aren't going to let it get to capacity before you're selling the stuff. But anyways. That's your cow shed with barn by Grass uh, Gracus Gracus Philip slash backslash Philip or forward slash I guess uh, sixteen point eight six megabytes to download twenty three slots on console I'm Looney Farm Guy and remember it's only a game so till next time. Bye for now.